Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center, or PSC, to get access to powerful computing resources for your assignments. Using PSC has several advantages. You don't need to spend time configuring complicated environments. You don't need to download large datasets to your own machine, and the resources are free to use. In fact, by the time you reach homework 4, you'll almost certainly need PSC for model training. So getting familiar with it now will save you trouble later. In this first part, I'll walk you through how to connect to PSC using the terminal step by step, so you can start running jobs smoothly. And then we're going to introduce you how to connect to PSC via VS Code. So now let's come to the PSC usage guide, step by step. And then the first one, you need to change your username to your own username. Okay. Now, you also need to enter your password here. And now you need to enter your own folder. OK. And here we need to make a request for a computing node. We need to wait for a little bit in this step. And uh, uh, an additional note, which is you can specify the amount of time that you request for. OK, so right now here's one hour. Then you can change that. OK, and now we've already got the node V011 for our job. Then the next step is we need to load the module. Okay, we come here. Okay, now the module has been loaded. And here we also need to deactivate our current uh, virtual environment. And here we're going to activate our own um, virtual environment for this homework. So for homework two, you can find the virtual environment here in your um, homework handout. Then you can just copy paste it. Okay, then we copy paste it here. So our homework environment has been activated. Then let's run this to know what's our host name. So our node is V011. And then let's run this. Needs, maybe you also need to wait for a little bit. Right now, when we are waiting for it, we can start another window. Then we can note down the links here, which we're going to use after this. So let's come to the second terminal. Then we're going to run this. Okay, you also need to change your username to your own username. And um, you should also change the host name. Okay. So our host name is v011, as we remembered. So let's run this right now. You also need to input the password here. OK, now it's done. Then let's come back to the link. Then you can copy it and open Yeah, so here you can see your files and you can start to run your jobs here. And with this method, you can also connect it to VS Code. Hello, everyone. Earlier, Yuan Yi showed you how to connect to PSA using the terminal and then working with any network software. Now I will show you the recommended and most commonly used way to work with PSA, connecting through VS Code. In this workflow, I'll guide you step by step on how to set up and run your homework notebook on PSC Bridges to using VS Code. Of course, you are free to use the terminal approach Yuan Yi demonstrated if you prefer. But for most students, VS Code provides a smoother and more user friendly experience. By the end of this session, 
You'll know how to connect to PSC through VS Code, load the shared environment, and access the shared dataset for your homework. Before we get started, I want to emphasize something very important. For all homework pages, we are providing both the shared dataset and shared Conda environment for the entire class. That means if you are working on PSC, you do not need to and should not to download the data yourself and do not need to install any packages manually. Everything has already been set up for you. This way, everyone works in the same environment and we can avoid common setup issues. Okay, let's go step by step. The first step is setting up your environment on Bridges2. The overall process is that you first SSH into Bridges2. Go to your JET directory, add JET home your username, upload your notebook there, and then connect to the Jupyter server. One important note, please always make sure you are inside your JET home directory and use that as your working directory. All the later steps and notebook settings were tested with this pass. So staying here will save you from errors. Now let's see how to actually do this. We'll use homework 1p2 as a demo to work through the whole process. We'll also prepare the dataset and the environment for you on PSC. So if you want to try running on PSC earlier, you can simply copy the cells from the demo into your homework 1p2 starter notebook. You can copy it here. For all homework P2s, the PSC setup process is almost the same. And in the future homework P2s, the starter notebook will already include a PSC setup section similar to what I am showing here. So first, open VS Code and click on the extensions icon on the left sidebar. Make sure that the remote SSH extension is installed. Next, we need to open the command palette. On Mac, you can press Shift Command and P, and on Windows, you can press Control Shift and P. In the search box, choose Remote SSH at New SSH Host. Then type SSH your username, that's your access ID, at bridges2.psc.edu. After that, choose your SSH config file. It's usually found at users uh, slash your username slash dot SSH slash config. A message then will pop up in the corner saying host added. Then simply click connect, enter your password, and you're in. Now that you are connected, click on Explorer in the left sidebar. Choose Open Folder and navigate to your home directory. Chat home your username. Please make sure to always navigate to this directory as your working directory to avoid errors in later steps. Your notebook output will also be saved here. At this point, you can drag and drop your notebook files directly into the right-hand pane which is your remote home directory. Or if you prefer, you can use the SCP command in the terminal to upload files into the folder. Okay, we've now finished the steps for SSH into Bridges2 in VS Code. The good news is once you added the host the first time, you don't need to repeat all the steps every time. Next time, you can simply use remote SSH connect to host, and pick bridges2.psc.edu from the list. Or if you open a new window in VS Code, you will actually see your recent connections listed on the welcome page. So you can just click the link here, type in your password, and you will be connected right away. Now. Let's get a shared GPU and access the shared environment. Please note, the following steps should all be done in the VS Code integrated terminal. This terminal is usually at the bottom panel in VS Code. If it's hidden, just pull it up to see it. 
First, make sure you are in your home directory. Type cd, then your jet home directory. Jet, home, or username. As mentioned before, the directory should always be your working space. Next, let's request a GPU node. Run this command. You can just copy it and paste it into the terminal. This gives you one with 100 GPU for up to eight hours. The process of getting the node may take a little bit of time. So just wait until it connects. Once you are on the compute node, load Anaconda by typing module load Anaconda 3. Then activate the shared environment we we'll prepare for you. First, deactivate any existing environment, and then activate the provided one. Then we can launch Jupyter Notebook so that all the following steps can be done interactively inside the notebook. Run this command. This will print out a URL with a token in the terminal. It usually looks like this. Usually, the URL appears in the terminal output after you run this command. So we copy it and paste it here. Then you will see a line like this. The Jupyter server is running at blah, blah, blah. Then you can copy this URL and in VS code, go to the kernel, which is at the upper left corner. Select another kernel, then choose existing Jupyter server, paste the URL there. The first thing you will usually do is import dependencies for the homework if you follow the above steps correctly and activate the shared environment. You don't need to install anything manually. It should just work. The import uh, process may also take a little bit of time, so just wait. Okay, congratulations. We've finished the first step SSH into the Bridges tool and setting up the environment. That was the longest and most completed step. So once you've done it, you're already more than halfway there. From here on, the steps will be much simpler. The second step is setting up your Kaggle API authentication. You'll need this both when you make a submission to Kaggle and when the system pulls back your score during the process of generating the submission.zip file. To do this, Please create a hidden Kaggle folder in your home directory. Remember to replace it with your own PSC username and place your Kaggle JSON file inside. The file should contain your Kaggle username and your API key. Replace the placeholders with your actual username and key. Then set the file permissions with this line. Again, replace the username part with your PSC username. Then you can run the cell. Then the third step is to access the shared dataset. For all homework pages, the datasets have already been prepared and stored in shared read-only folders. So once again, you do not need to and should not download it yourself. This is the path to the homework 1p2 dataset. You can run a simple command in the notebook to list the files in, in this directory and confirm that everything is there. We also provide an example of how to explore the folder structure using the tree command. Okay, that's it. We've now completed all the setup steps. Once you've done this, you're ready to run the rest of the homework notebook. Remember, the key point is that we've already prepared both the environment and the dataset for you. This means you don't need to worry about manual installation or downloading large files on your own. Thank you all for listening. 
and good luck with your homework.